Hi everyone, and welcome to part one of JVC's webinar on live and remote production. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the featured products in JVC's live production and remote production lineups. Now on screen, you can see some of the topics that we're gonna be covering here in part one, such as a profile of JVC professional video, as well as studio cameras for large and small budgets using fiber and or IP. We're also gonna be talking about JVC's handheld cameras using embedded graphics. Before we start, I'd like to introduce our two featured speakers. First, we have Edgar Shane. Edgar is the general manager for engineering and product development at JVC Professional Video. Edgar has a master's degree in electrical engineering and has over 30 years of experience in topics of live video production, video over IP, remote production solutions, and MDI. When not on land, Edgar prefers to be in the water with his side passion of scuba diving around the world. We also have Alicia Reed. Alicia is the district sales manager at JVC Professional Video. With her over 18 years with JVC, she's been featured in various interviews and presentations nationwide, highlighting JVC's latest products and advancements in camera technologies. Alicia loves to spend her free time outdoors, in nature, and as an avid hiker. Without any further ado, I'm going to hand this off to Alicia and get the presentation started. I'm going to share my screen and we'll talk about some of these topics. So um, JVC uh, has a wonderful array of products that are perfect for live production as well as remote production. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, if you want to follow up and see more details on any of these products, you can look at our website at pro.jvc.com. You can see on this overview slide, we have a really nice assortment starting at handheld cameras in the 2000 range that can stream, that can add graphics. And the ones I'm going to talk about today are the 500 and 900 cameras. And Edgar's going to talk about our new PTZs and the switchers, the new vMix switchers. So those are uh, the topics of the day. So the first topic, studio cameras for large and small budgets using fiber and or IP. You can see by this photo, technology has really advanced since the early days. <laughs> um, JVC, I, as I mentioned, has the GYHC 900 larger camera that's made both for shoulder mount as well as for studio. The GYHC 900 is a two-third inch camera that's hybrid. It's both for ENG and studio, which is a really nice advantage. It uses the B4 two-third inch lens mount, so you can use different lenses like box lenses, two times lenses for sports or live events, or standard lenses. It has a beautiful image quality, uh, great low light performance, and because it's hybrid, you can actually record onto the camera body onto SD cards as well. So again, it's that really nice hybrid uh, capability. Um, and it also has IP connectivity, which I'll talk more about. It allows you to use these cameras all in one place or at more than one location. Uh, one of the cool features that's a special JVC feature, um, one of the attendees asked to have us talk more about who were the type of customers that would use this and also what are special features JVC has. So I'm trying to highlight that for you. Thanks for asking that question. Um, in particular, JVC has a return video, IFB audio, and teleprompter feature, which can be activated in both our large and small connected cam cameras. Uh, it allows you in the field to get a, a video feed of the um, end result that's viewable on your eyepiece in the little LCD, or you can use a cable to view it on a monitor, so like a talent could view that. Um, you also have IFB audio, which allows you um, to get a feed of um, a person's instructions, like the director could be giving instructions over the IP, and also teleprompter. You can use that uh, cable to put teleprompter info on a monitor, and so it's really neat. It makes your ENG camera into kind of a studio camera in the field. JVC also uses IP to offer uh, free shading and control. Uh, so even if you don't have a special shader, you can use an iPad or a laptop and you can use any kind of browser. You don't even need an app. We also um, can kit it out to be a full ENG camera if you want to put it on your shoulder. It uses standard accessories, standard lenses, 
And so you can use it individually. But what we're talking about today is when you want to use it for a studio type setup. And JVC has some really nice um, fiber accessories that you can get as a kit. Uh, we partnered with Multidyne and they offer a really great camera back and base station for fiber. And it can be Simpty fiber, Neutric Optical Con fiber. And you can see by the illustration, there's a really nice uh, triple base station. There's also a dual base station option. It's all color coded and easy to set up. And you can also use our RML P250S controllers, which allow you to shade them to, like traditional uh, fiber setups require. Um, and I didn't mention the really nice eight inch monitor. It pivots up and down, left and right, has a really nice big tally. And this, as you can see, makes a very complete system. And the big benefit of fiber is that you get all of this through a single cable. The cable connects from the camera to the base station and it provides video, it provides um, control, it provides power. So um, some of the other solutions I'll talk about today are really great too, but this is the only one that has a single cable. It really keeps your area clean and safe. So that's why if you do have the budget, this is the kind of premium choice. Um, the camera itself in the ENG style is in the 15 to 20,000 uh, range with the fiber accessories is in the 30,000 range. So this would be more like $100,000 or more investment. Um, but for folks with that budget, this is a beautiful choice and it gives you 150 watts of power at the back of each camera. So you can even add things like teleprompters, talent monitors and clocks, and you don't need to add extra cables for those either. Um, and it gives you a full 1080 60p. Some of the alternatives in this price range are just 30p. So this is better for movement and uh, action oriented uh, videography. And this is what we call a slim studio. Um, this uses the same camera, but instead of using fiber, you can use those extra cables I was talking about. Um, you can use Ethernet cables uh, to connect to accessories, which can still offer you the shading and the tally and even audio for um, uh, talking to the camera operators. And then you would um, use like an SDI going to your switcher. Uh, this saves you a few dollars. So if you don't have the $100,000, but you have a little bit less, this is a nice solution. And it's a great solution that JVC offers. Uh, again, JVC special feature because we have these IP connectivity options for you. And then the most affordable solution of all for the studio is to use our handheld GYHC 500 cameras in a studio. We call this a slim studio. And the neat thing is all you need is about $25,000 for a three camera studio. Uh, it's also got many of the same features. You use the same um, ethernet connections to the same uh, shader and the same uh, GPIO for tally. And just put your camera with a monitor and VeraZoom on a tripod and you have a very robust uh, smaller system that does similar production uh, procedures. Here you can see how it works. The cameras and the shader and the GPIO for tally all connect to the same router or switch. Um, you just put the little Vera zoom on the um, tripod with the camera and you get a very nice complete system. Most other brands don't offer this IP connectivity or the shader and uh, tally option. So JVC is a really great choice if you want a studio on a budget. And these are some of the accessories I mentioned that can kit out your camera itself. We have really nice uh, nine inch monitor, uh, VeraZoom made specifically for our camera that reproduces um, uh, or allows you to connect with the cameras, uh, zoom focus and iris. And we also have a nice tripod, all this in the $6,000 range. And many people will use this solo. So in, in case you don't need a multi-camera system for an event, maybe you're traveling, you can actually use one camera to capture your event. And again, it's very complete, very easy to use. You can see in the illustration, they're doing a sporting event. And because the camera can stream, you can stream directly from the camera. So you can basically be a one man band or one woman band. You just have one camera, one person, and you can do the video coverage and also stream. 
And remember how I told you JVC has some special features? You can even have graphics to that one man or one woman band. Uh, JVC allows you to include embedded graphics. This is the second topic that I mentioned we were going to talk about. Um, especially, like I said, if you don't have a lot of, you know, personnel that can have multiple people go to an event or you don't have a lot of money for a lot of equipment or maybe you just want to keep it easy. Um, JVC allows you to uh, do lower third graphics for people's names, titles, and information, as well as lower third for sports. And there's a third one I'm going to surprise you with too. Um, and since you mentioned who would use this, uh, this is most popular, you can imagine, for sports. So universities, high schools, even elementary schools, people with a, you know, a soccer team or something, this is perfect for that type of application. I actually have some school systems. They'll buy one of these kits for each school. And so when they go to away games, they can use this. Also community media. I know a lot of times you just want to send one person out, maybe cover an event, maybe show it on your channel. This is really great for that. Um, education, you can imagine you can do like a graduation or a training or lecture. Um, house of worship, same thing. If you're on a budget, you can't afford all the cameras. This will do the trick, stream from a single camera with graphics um, or even events or anyone who wants to do this type of streaming. It's a great solution and it's only available through JVC. The camera itself is fantastic too. It's a one inch sensor camera. It has 4K shooting. You can do either um, HD or 4K. And the lens is phenomenal. I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, you have really good low light sensitivity, just like the larger camera. Um, and HDR and SRT, a lot of the features on the big camera are in this camera too. So it's a nice um, option if you want a smaller camera or have a smaller budget. I mentioned the lens. It's 20 by optical, so in the 4K mode, you have a beautiful 20 by zoom, and it also can go up to 40 by. It also has image stabilization and that low light sensitivity I talked about. This camera is so good that if you had a DSLR, look at the lower right quadrant of the screen, you would need a lens twice as long to get this type of zoom. And JVC actually kind of builds the lens into the camera body, and that's why uh, you can get such a powerful zoom in our camera. And the 40 by zoom, in the old days, people said, oh, yuck, it's digital, that won't look very good. But JVC uses a special technology called VSM, and that allows you to get full 19 by, uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution in this 40 by zoom. And these cameras have an uh, Ethernet port built in them. So for doing any IP stuff, we do recommend you use the IP port and Ethernet. But on occasion, you may need or need to or want to use wireless. And you can, on the 550 version of the camera, actually get two little rabbit ears built into the camera body. But with our other 500 and 500 SPC, it has a little USB port where you can put it a Wi-Fi adapter. And we have a couple of approved models that you can use. They're very affordable. I think it's around $25. So instantly you can use wireless to either shade or uh, do other IP things with these cameras. Uh, this also has the free IP shader built in that also allows you to set up your stream and do other things like that. And oh, here's another special feature. Uh, this has the lower third graphics I talked about. And it's totally customizable. You can change the colors, the positions, obviously the names and what you're talking about. Um, you can even do a watermark. Maybe you're just using this feature to brand your footage so someone doesn't steal it. Um, and it even has extra features like clocks and live buttons, and you can turn those on and off and select them. We also have a live score overlay. So this is for those sports customers. And it's different sports. You can do things like baseball, basketball, and there's some generic ones that allow you to just make your own if you're doing something more exotic. And you can either control it via that free GUI interface I mentioned, or there's a third party device called Scorelink Plus. And that allows you to receive um, a feed of the scoreboard info from a Dactronics or other scoreboard, and it'll feed it directly to your camera. So the user doesn't have to do anything other than, you know, center the shot. Uh, so there's a couple ways to do it. 
And this slide is showing someone using an iPad. Uh, you can literally, this is where you can literally change the names, update the score, and there's literally an update button you press and that makes it go live. And you can also see on this slide the customized logos with the names of the teams. And then here's the surprise one. Here's the third method. It's called the sports graphic overlay. And how it works is you can add up to 50 full screen custom graphics. You have to put it onto a little SD card and load it in the camera, but then you can utilize that. Maybe you want to have the title of your show, or maybe you want to have stats about players um, or any other information. Maybe you're monetizing this and you want to have advertisers. You can put their logos or information. So it's really amazing, and this is just available through the JVC um, 500 uh, SP model camera. We also have um, all the IP connectivity as far as getting um, IFB audio, return video, and teleprompter with this camera too. So if you did want to use it out in the field and have those features, it's built in. It's just amazing. And um, this is what also allows you to use these cameras for remote production. Uh, so far, we've talked mostly about live production, but if you do want to have cameras in different locations, uh, this is, or maybe the cameras are in a different location from your studio, this is what enables you to do it. I mentioned how these cameras have Ethernet ports on them. You just connect the Ethernet cable to your Internet, and uh, then on the side of your studio, make sure you have Internet as well, and you can utilize a lot of these IP features. And you may ask, why? how would this be handy? Um, you might have a special guest, maybe a celebrity, or just someone that couldn't come to the studio. If you have one of our handheld, or Edgar's going to talk about PTZ doing this too, um, you just have them hooked up to the internet on both sides. You need about three to five megabits upload speed on your internet, but most people have that on their home or office these days. And then you just go to a decoder or you can go directly into many new switchers like the vMix or NewTek TriCaster. Um, and so this makes an excellent workflow. Some people are even on purpose putting their cameras in other locations now because you can do this. And how it works is you can either do port forwarding if you have control over the internet in both spaces, or there are some accessories like the um, PepLink Balance 20 and Surf Soho that can be used uh, that you can pre-program with the IP addresses on both sides. And that way, if someone's hesitant to give out their IP information, you don't have to mess with the um, IP department at either location. You just use these devices. They're about $300 each or so. And it allows you to communicate between the two places. And again, you asked to describe who would use this. It could be uh, hotel conferences. They might have the celebrity or person that couldn't come or a special guest that you want to highlight. Um, corporate offices, maybe the CEO, CEO wants to speak from an office occasionally. Uh, city hall, uh, we mentioned community access, community media. Maybe you want to have speakers participate in your events and they may not always be able to come in person. Uh, same with sports venues, house of worship, you know, they may have more than one location where you want to highlight different folks um, or even home office. You could use this as a very elevated way to show high quality video of people uh, who are working. And this is kind of a recap slide of that procedure. You can do up to uh, 1080 60p 4K. You can even offer encryption if you're worried about, um, you know, having your um, very confidential information per, uh, preserved. Also, it's a low latency, about a half second to a second. So it's not going to be appropriate all the time for use on like a scoreboard or something where people will be in person wanting to see the exact ex moment it happens. But if you're just providing like a special guest or talking back and forth, kind of like you do on the news, this is a perfect application and there's no subscription fees. In the old days, you'd need something like a Live View or DeGero to do this, which are quite costly. And the nice thing is these technologies are built into these JVC connected cam cameras. And you can see on the slide, um, I'm showing not only the handheld and studio type cameras, but also the PTZs. So this is my segue that Edgar's now going to take it from here and talk about the PTZs and switchers. Save now on a variety of JVC products using our promotions. To learn more about any of our promotions, head to our website using the address provided and click on the red promotions image. Thanks for watching.
Click here to watch part two of our webinar. Make sure to follow JVC on all social medias to stay in the loop.